Hey guys, so in today's tutorial we're going to deploy a simple node app to Heroku. So first of all we're going to go ahead and set up a local node and express app just to make sure we get it up and running on locally first. So we'll create a repository and let's go deploy node to Heroku. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all clone this locally now. We copy the URL here. So let's git clone. Let's go ahead and create a package.json by doing npm init. Or actually, there's a faster way to set up a package.json quickly, npm init, and then hyphen y. And now we can go ahead and install express. Let's go ahead and create a public folder. Let's create our server.js file. And let's go ahead and create our index.html for our static code here. And lastly, let's go ahead and open all this in Atom. So now that we've everything installed, we can go ahead and set up a very basic Express app. So let's go ahead and install or require Express first of all. Set up a Express server and assign it to a variable called app. Let's tell Express to use our public folder for our static files. And lastly, let's tell Express to listen on a port. And we'll say 8080 for local lift. And if all is okay, we'll get our callback function. And let's just say all is okay. Okay. And lastly, let's come into our index.html and create some very simple HTML boilerplate code here. So that's done. Let's come back to our terminal and run this by doing node server.js. So we get our console.log, all is okay. And if we come to our localhost 8080, all is okay, perfect. Um, so now once we have our Express app set up, a very basic app, we can go ahead to Heroku. And what we need to do is go to heroku.com. I've installed a Heroku CLI, so I don't need to do this again. But you go ahead and set up a Heroku account here by just signing up and following the instructions. Once you've signed up, you will be able to download the CLI for our command line. So first of all, I'm just going to delete an app here because I do have more than five apps and Heroku only allows five for non-paid accounts. So I'm just going to delete this one so we can deploy a new one in a moment. So once you've Heroku set up, you'll go to the getting started. And for this tutorial, we're using Node.js. So you'll go ahead and click I'm ready to start. You'll download the CLI, you'll select your platform here, your operating system. I'm on a Mac, so I click Mac. You go ahead, you follow the instructions. Once that's done, you are in your terminal, so you'll log into Heroku by running Heroku login. You'll enter your email and password, and then you'll be logged into Heroku. To make sure that Heroku is installed correctly, you can go to your command line and go Heroku hyphen hyphen version, and you should see the version of Heroku. And that means it's all installed correctly, okay? So let's go ahead and first of all, create a Heroku app here. So we go Heroku create. So let's create an app, given a URL here. And now we can go ahead and go git add dot, git commit m, and we'll just say deploy app. 
and we can go git push Heroku master. That's going to go ahead now and basically get all our app ready. It's going to interact with Heroku, download all our node modules, and as you can see, it's pretty fast. So we'll just wait a couple more seconds here. Let Okay, so now it has installed and deployed. So now we can run a nice command called Heroku open, and if all is well, we should see our hello world on the browser. So there you go, we got a nice URL here. So now this app is deployed on Heroku. So if you want to go ahead and let's say make a change in the future, let's say we have hello world, P, this is now on Heroku. We can come back to our terminal to like re, re, do a new release, let's say. So first of all, you go git add all to add all your changes. Git commit hyphen M, and let's just say this is version two. And then we'll do git push Heroku master. So it's gonna go ahead and rebuild again and deploy our updated version to Heroku. So it's a really nice way to deploy a node app. Not too difficult at all. So come back to our URL here and we'll refresh. And now we have the update changes. So it's nice and easy. So I hope this helps you guys uh, deploy a node app to Heroku. And I'll see you in the next video.